Hello and we're back with another five pilots. Not all of these have failed. These are pilots that I have taken from your suggestions in the comments. So here you go. Number one is Life on a Stick. Apparently originally titled Related by Family, it was an American sitcom that was on Fox in 2005. And despite completing 13 episodes, Fox only aired the initial five before pulling the plug due to lacklustre ratings. It was set against the backdrop of a mall food court and the show revolved around a group of teenagers navigating work and friendships. The central characters, including Laz, his stepsister Molly, Laz's long-time buddy Fred and Laz's newfound love interest, Lily. His laid-back approach to life leads him to strike a deal with his dad and stepmom. In exchange for living a rent-free life, Laz must keep an eye on Molly. But somehow I have to convince my dad and stepmom to let me stay. But how? How? And they love me so much. <laughs> it wasn't locked. I know, son. I'm trying a new moisturizer we just got in. It's made my hands incredibly soft. <laughs> and completely useless. I might as well have flippers. So my mom sets me up with this tool, and the first thing he says when he meets me is, I was hoping you looked more like your mom. <laughs> The good news is, the second thing he said was, Ow, my crotch. That one was suggested by Xian Hu. Thank you very much for the suggestion and your continued support of the channel. Number two, Where's Rodney? Stands as an unsold television pilot featuring the comedic genius, apparently, of Rodney Dangerfield. Originally conceived as a potential series, it ended up being broadcast as a special in 1990. The pilot was a collaborative effort produced by the trio of Aaron Spelling Productions, Bedrock Productions and Hanna-Barbera Productions. It found its way onto NBC's programming lineup. Despite not securing a spot as a full-fledged series, the special showcased Rodney Dangerfield's unique comedic style and it has left its mark as a notable project in the television landscape of its time. And a big thank you to Michael Lee 8816 for that one. I feel like I, I gotta get out of here. Hey! What about my steak? <laughs> Honey, this is bigger than your steak. <laughs> I feel weird. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, I tell you. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> What am I doing back in high school? I knew I should have graduated. My name's Rodney June. What am I doing here? I don't know. I was just standing here hoping I could talk to you and then here you are. Maybe it's a Rodney Rodney type of thing. Hey, my name is Rodney, not Jeannie. Do I look like I live in a bottle? Now, with the opening declaration from the host, Don Moss. Hello and welcome to Mainly for Men, and as the title implies, this is a programme, fellas, just for you. The tone is then set for an odd journey into analysing the attractiveness of the Venus de Milo statue. Yes, that's what happens. The whole concept was undeniably questionable, featuring nudity and casual sexism and shark fishing, and a song about the ideal woman playing over scenes of a woman doing housework and dancing, throw in some care talk, and you've got basically an early edition of a lad's mag. And thank you to Paul Tapner 2769 for this suggestion. Mainly for Men found itself tucked away in the graveyard slot during a night dedicated to terrible programming on the BBC. CBS took a shot at bringing Mel Brooks' original story to the small screen with a television pilot titled Black Bat. Louis Gossett Jr. stepped into the shoes of Bat, with Steve Landsberg playing his inebriated sidekick, the ex-Confederate officer Reb Jordan. The ensemble cast also featured Millie Slavin and Noble Willingham. On April 4, 1975, CBS aired the pilot, giving viewers a taste of the Wild West with a comedic twist. Although Black Bat didn't make it to a full series, the pilot episode found a second life as a bonus feature on both the Blazing Saddles 30th Anniversary DVD DVD and the Blu-ray disc, ensuring that this small screen experiment wouldn't be entirely forgotten. Girlie, if you stop now, I take you in the back room for kissy kissy. It's the best time of your life. Hey, Uncle Fern, he pulled on me. That's right, Mayor, and this time he's going to jail. 
I'll take care of this little... Oh, that's not sunshine. That's Miss Bell. Drinks for the house. For those who lost a toe, double. <laughs> Remember what I said the day you showed up here? Uh-huh. Holy Manolia, Ethiopian. Why, if he thinks I'm gonna take any orders from a flat-nosed, pink-eyed, nappy-headed darky just because he's wearing a tin badge, well, he got another thing coming. Hey, you remember what you said to me after that? I didn't say anything, Reb. I just took my pistol and smacked you upside the head with it. <laughs> and many thanks to George Zarko 9269 for that one. Why have you all got numbers after your names? And finally, in a cosmic twist... An astronaut's journey takes an unexpected turn when his ship navigates through the peculiar magnetic field on its way back to Earth. The aftermath reveals that astronaut Jack North has not only landed on home soil, but also gained extraordinary powers as a super genius with a massive IQ. During a spacewalk to photograph an eclipse, North is struck by a mysterious solar radiation. Once back on Earth, scientists make a fascinating discovery. When exposed to ultraviolet sunlight, his mental and physical capabilities skyrocket to superhuman levels. However, the catch is that prolonged exposure poses a risk of overload and, well, death, prompting North to don special sunglasses for protection. Without the UV exposure or during the night, he's just an ordinary guy. But under sunlight, he transforms, thinking like a computer, possessing super sensors, super strength, and the ability to sprint as fast as a motorcycle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is North Star. And a big thanks to Espurius for suggesting this one. There we go, that's five TV pilots recommended by you guys. Do you have any more? You let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help the video travel far and wide. Share it with your friends and all that YouTube stuff. Bye for now.